Meantime, researchers are exploring all options in the fight against the coronavirus, and location intelligence may be an unlikely ally in the battle. Joining us this afternoon to talk more about it is Dr. Esty Garrity. She is chief medical officer at Esri, a company that specializes in this technology. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for being here. Explain how geography can be helpful right now. Sure. Well, I think everything about this pandemic is geographic. We've started looking at where are the cases, right? The dashboards that came out that made this all so visible in the public eye. And then we start to do more sophisticated things like mapping where we have vulnerable populations, people who may be at higher risk for uh, contracting the virus or having more severe disease. But then location is also important to understanding what kind of surge is gonna happen in our hospitals, uh, when they may exceed capacity, where we should put testing site locators or food resource distribution centers. Uh, geography is a part of all of this modeling and planning and response activity. So talk a little bit about how organizations might use this technology and also the concerns about uh, privacy. Sure. Well, organizations are using this information to uh, first inform their own actions to decide when they may need to put uh, stronger social distancing orders in place or where they may need to allocate different kinds of resources. So governments, healthcare organizations, uh, police forces, all sorts of responders are using it, uh, as well as the federal government. Um, and I think the privacy issue doesn't come up too often because most people are keeping their data um, aggregated at whether it's a census tract level or a county level. So that doesn't breach any privacy concerns. Um, but when you do have privacy concerns, we can certainly manage those with proper kinds of geographic masking activities. So how do you see this technology being used as we move forward and more states start to reopen? Yes, I think it's being used now in a couple of really important ways. One, uh, helping people to decide when and how they should reopen their economies. And then the other part is for businesses trying to decide how do they manage their workforce and when should the workforce come into the office. Geography actually happens indoors as well. Uh, think of it more as spatial than geographic. How we set up our offices may completely change as people come back to work. Yeah, and technology obviously and healthcare have always sort of intersected, but, but now it seems to be more elevated. When you look at this technology and you look at the COVID-19 outbreak, talk with us a little bit about the parallels of, of using the technology and also trying to guide officials in how to respond to the outbreak. Yeah, I think um, it really has been front and center. And what's interesting about it is I think this is providing a tremendous opportunity for how we evolve technology going forward. We are finding the gaps in our systems and the loopholes. And I think a lot of people have a lot of really great ideas of how this should all work together. And this is really informing those ways that uh, technologic systems need to be interoperable and data agreements uh, need to be in place in advance so that we can share data more appropriately. Those are the kinds of things that I'm seeing come up quite often. All right, Dr. Esty Garrity, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us this afternoon. Thanks for having me, appreciate it.